गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल आइटम फॉर इच क्वेरी प्रॉब्लम विच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी अ प्रीवियस नॉलेज ऑफ बाइनरी सर्च इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन अ टू डी इन टीजर आर ए आइटम्स वेर आइटम्स एट आई इक्वल्स प्राइस आई कॉम आ ब्यूटी आई डिनोट्स द प्राइस एंड ब्यूटी ऑफ एन आइटम रेस्पेक्टिवली यू आर ऑल्सो गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इन टीजर आर ए क्वेरीज फॉर इच क्वेरीज एट जे You want to determine the maximum beauty of an item whose price is less than or equals to the query Z J. If no such item exists, then the answer for this query is zero. Return an answer of the same length as the query's length, where answer at J is the answer for the Jth query. Now, before looking at an example, let's look at the constraint. In this case, the number of items are less than equal to ten to the power of five. That means an n square algorithm will not work in this case because that will become ten to the power of ten. We need to always write an algorithm less than ten to the power eight number of operations. Now let's look at an example for better understanding. In this case, we are given an items array. The array is of size let's say n, and each of the array is containing a pair. Where the first item is the price and the second item is the beauty. We are also given the queries array. Where our goal is to find for each query i in the range of zero to n minus one, find the maximum beauty which we can afford with the given price, and the price should always be less than equals to the query z i. Now let's look at the example. In this case, we will take the uh, price to be one. That means we want to find out the maximum beauty we can get with the price less than equals to one. What we will do is we will iterate for all the items from left to right. and we will be uh, keeping a max beauty max beauty variable and it will be assigned to let's say 0 i want to maximize this now if i check the first item its price is less than equals to what we have so the max beauty will be compared with the current beauty too and i will update this too now we will check for the next item now this price 3 is greater than 1 so this cannot be taken and similarly for this 2 5 and 3 all these prices are greater than 1 so the maximum beauty we can get with uh, price 1 is 2 and that is why we will store 2 as an answer for the 0th query similarly for the first query we have the price equals to 2 and again we will be iterating from left to right and find out the maximum beauty we can get and you will see that it will be 4 here hence the answer is 4 and likewise we will be solving for each of the query one by one we need to return the result for each of the query and contain it in an answer uh, vector or an array and return it so i hope you got the problem statement this is the brute force way of solving it the number of items and the number of queries can both go to 10 to the power of 5 so this is order of q and approach and this is not something we want now if you try to apply a better strategy then i can simply sort this items array based on the price so that if i find the first item which is having a higher price than the than what we can afford then i will not check for further items to the right hand side isn't it so if i apply that intuition and take the items array and sort it based on the price then i will get uh, 1,2 2,6 you see that all the items are in the increasing order of their price okay i can say it is non decreasing so if i do that then let's say our query is price equals to 2 so if i want to find out the maximum beauty i can get with price equals to 2 i can simply start iteration from the first number and then i will go to the second number and as soon as i go to the third number i see that the price here 3 is greater than 2 so all the prices on the right hand side must also be greater than 2 so i can safely stop here without having to check for the other items on the right hand side okay so this will optimize our run time but you know what the queries can be like uh, value 5 value 6 value 7 and so on so you might end up still iterating for all the items from left to right because the prices were high isn't it so in that case again you will get order of q and time complexity so how do we improve this now you might also think that i can find out where to stop optimally by using binary search so if my query was let's say uh, for the price equals to 2 then i can apply binary search and i will find that index 1 is the highest price which is having a price less than equals to our target price okay so you can use binary search for that but then even if you know where to stop still you will not know uh, if this is the highest price or which one is the highest price you will have to end up iterating for all the items from that point to the left 
because the price here does not denote what will be the beauty the higher price does not mean that the beauty will be higher this price one can also have beauty 20 so in that case you cannot just uh, return 6 as an answer you might have to end up checking all the items right so even if you know at what point i need to stop but still you have to iterate from all the items from the beginning to that point so a simple straightforward binary search will not help in this case now what else can we do now if you can maintain what is the maximum i have seen till a certain index then that might work for you like how you used to do in the prefix sum technique if you move from left to right and maintain the maximum uh, beauty that you have seen at a certain point then maybe it might work for you so the zeroth index has beauty value 2 the first index will take the previous index's beauty value 2 and this value the max of these two so this will remain as 6 when we go to the next index 2 then i will take the max of this 2 and 6 so this will be overwritten to 6 again at index 3 we will take max of 5 comma 6 so this will be overwritten to 6 what is the meaning of this 6 here at 3 this means that the maximum beauty that we have seen till this point right from the beginning is 6 okay and if you go to this 8 it will take the max of 8 and 6 and it will remain to be 8 now how can this help now let's say your query was equals to 3 okay so if i apply binary search then i will stop at this index 3 which is having the price uh, less than equals to 3 and this is the last search index if you go to any index to the right hand side then i will find a higher price so if i stop here i can simply look up the max beauty 6 and the meaning of this is 6 is the maximum beauty right from the beginning to this point so just by applying one time binary search you can return what is the maximum beauty if i take another query let's say query equals to 2 then in this case the binary search will stop at index 1 okay because this is having price 2 if you go anything to the right hand side then the price will be greater than 2 so if i stop here i can simply return this value 6 this value 6 says that it is the maximum price right from the beginning to this point so binary search in combination with maintaining the maximum beauty seen till a current index will actually help us to solve this problem optimally so we will be solving this problem using the prefix max beauty plus binary search in this case we are given the items array and we will sort it so this is the sorted items array based on the price the price is the first value okay the beauty is the second value after having done this we will calculate the prefix max beauty by iterating from left to right and maintaining the max beauty seen till now so for this it will be 2 for here it will be 6 and for this one it will be 6 for this one it will be 6 for this one it will be 8 okay so after having calculated this let's serve the queries now if you have the queries from let's say 1 to 6 then i will build the result and what i will do is i will take the target price so this one is the target price so i will apply binary search on this prefix max beauty array which is basically the same as the items array we are not taking extra space we are just overwriting the values so if i apply binary search on one you will be stopping at index zero what is the max beauty value two so two will be the answer okay why two because two is the maximum beauty we have seen right from the beginning to index zero and that is what i want isn't it now for this two we will apply binary search we stop at this index one so we will give six as an answer for this three we will apply binary search we will stop at this index three which is having uh, six as the max beauty okay max beauty with the price less than equals to three if you uh, apply binary search on four again you will be stopping at this index three because the next index is having a higher value which is five okay so here the max beauty is six so again six if you apply binary search on five you will stop at index four because this is a value five and you will be writing it as an answer for this six you will apply binary search you will again stop at this index four because to the right hand side there is no other value right so the answer for this will be it so this is the max beauty array for each of the query we have found what is the maximum beauty i can get okay and this result will be returned as an answer so in this case since we are uh, sorting the entire items array and the items array is of length n so it will take n log n time for sorting and after having sorted it uh, we will be calculating the prefix max beauty by parsing one time left to right so order of n for that and then for each of the queries we will be applying binary search to find out the max beauty you can get with a certain price so q times of log n for that so if you add up all these values you get n log n plus q log n because n is a, a smaller order polynomial right 
so the time complexity will be order of n log n for sorting the items and q log n for binary search for each of the q queries and the space complexity will be considered order of 1 considering that the sorting is in place and we will not assume the result array that we are returning as an extra space okay that is not considered so let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the items array and the queries array so n is the size of the items array we will first be sorting it then calculating the prefix max beauty simply by iterating over each of the item and maintaining the maximum we have seen till the current index then for every query we will be applying binary search on the items array and this is the sorted items array so from here we will be returning the maximum beauty we, we can get because it will always be stopping at the rightmost index where the price is less than equals to our target price okay and finally we will push that into our result array and finally we will be returning the result so this is the entire code and i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you